Hey guys, welcome back to Shauna Ray Cooking and Cleaning for Busy Moms. Today I have a yummy, keto-friendly and low-carb friendly meal for you guys. This is like my go-to favorite keto and low-carb meal. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I cook my yummy garlic butter steak in my cast iron skillet with asparagus on the side. Asparagus are a keto approved vegetable, one of the ones that are really good for you. They are a great source of fiber and they are really low in calories. We are gonna add some avocado on the side for some healthy fats, but it is literally my like go-to favorite meal when I'm wanting something like a little fancy because it is steak. But anyways, I'm gonna share with you guys how I cook that and how I cook steak in my cast iron skillet. I love cooking steaks in my cast iron skillet. If I can't cook one on the grill, then going to on my cast iron skillet is my go-to method. I love my cast iron skillet. If you don't have a cast iron skillet, I definitely think it is something everyone should have. I will leave the ones I use linked down in the description box below, but they sell them at Walmart and all types of places. Cast iron is just a really, really great way to cook your food. It makes it really flavorful and it's a great nonstick pan. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna share with you guys how I'm gonna cook my steak and my asparagus. And since becoming a mom, I, it literally is like I found my purpose. Um, Okay guys, so for dinner, I'm gonna be making a couple steaks. <clears throat> I'm gonna be cooking these in my cast iron. I got, I got them out of the fridge about 20, 30 minutes ago, and I'm letting them sit out. Right now, I'm just gonna kind of season them a little bit and let them continue to sit for a little bit longer. You want your steaks room temperature when you're cooking them. They just cook more evenly that way. And put some fresh ground pepper if it'll work. Smashing it into the steaks. I'm gonna flip them and do the same thing on the other side. Oops. I couldn't get my ground pepper to work so I'm just using regular pepper. Ground pepper would be better if you have it. Okay, I'm gonna let those sit for just probably about another 10 minutes until they're room temp and then we'll go ahead and get them cooking. Okay, so now I have my cast iron here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on to about medium high heat and I'm gonna let this heat up for about three to four minutes. You want your cast irons really hot before you put the steaks in them. Okay, so now that my pan is really hot, I'm gonna go ahead and put some butter in here. If you wanna use olive oil or something else instead, totally up to you. I like butter and I'm gonna use a lot of it. So there's some butter. Let that melt a little. Then I'm also gonna put some minced garlic in there. We're gonna stir that around for just a second before we put our steaks in. Okay, and now we're just gonna put our steaks in there and let them cook on each side for about two minutes or so. I'll see you guys back here in a minute. Okay, so it's been about two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over. let those cook for about another two minutes and I did forget occasionally I will take a spoon and kind of take some of the butter and spoon that on top of the steak as they're cooking just to help get that buttery flavor in there let those cook okay so now they've cooked about two minutes on each side I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off and then I'm just gonna kind of sear the sides to make sure all the sides are cooked I personally really love cooking in my cast iron because it gives the steaks that like sear that you just don't get cooking in a lot of other pans quite as well. Cast iron is just a great pan to cook in, in my opinion, for especially for meats and things like that. If you don't have a cast iron, I will leave a link to the ones I'm using down below. And then if you like yours more rare, you'll want to remove them from the heat immediately. I like more, mine more medium, so I'm going to leave mine on the stove, but I have it turned off, so it should be cooling down. I'm just going to let them sit there for a few minutes while I finish getting everything else ready. Okay, so the steaks have been sitting for a couple minutes. I did put a little bit more butter there on top. Go ahead and move them to a plate. 
to cool. And now I'm gonna show you guys how I make my asparagus. All right, so I'm gonna turn this pan back on on medium heat. I'm gonna take a little bit more butter and put it in the pan and a little bit more garlic as well. And let that melt. I'm also gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper in the like buttery mixture. So then I have about a handful of um, washed asparagus that I've chopped the bottoms off. I do chop quite a bit off the bottoms because I like the top part better. Um, this is just enough for me tonight. I'm the only one who will eat it, maybe my son, but mostly just me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then I'm gonna let these cook for just a couple minutes until they're a little wilted down. Make sure you get them coated with the butter really well. Okay, so that's what they look like when they're done. They cooked about five minutes total and I just mixed them around in the butter as they cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these from the heat and go ahead and get my dinner ready. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Here is what my dinner tonight ended up looking like. I have some asparagus. I have my steak, which was perfectly cooked medium rare with some avocado on the side because I love avocado with my steak. It's just a nice, good, healthy fat to add to my dinner. It's really good. Let me know if you guys decide to try this recipe out and tag me over on Instagram at Shauna Ray Videos. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It's a quick and easy way you can help me out. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.